Welcome to this episode of Snowflake's Data Superheroes Origin. I'm your host, Kent Graziano, Snowflake's Chief Technical Evangelist and the Data Warrior. In this episode, I welcome another of our data superheroes, Joyce Avila, onto my mat in the Data Dojo for a candid interview about her experience in the world of data. Welcome to the Data Dojo, Joyce. How are you doing? Good. Thank you, Kent. I'm glad to be here. Glad we were finally able to, to get you on, on the show here. And you've been hugely active in our community. And I know you're, you're Snow Pro certified. Uh, looks like you've got over 28,000 points since you've joined the, the Data Superheroes program here. You've spoken at a bunch of our events, our group by event or summit, and, and some of our user groups and are kind of like our go-to expert on uh, Snow Pro certification in our community. You know, we've got some new viewers and they might not know that much about you. They may not have had a chance to look at your profile. So it'd be great if you could tell us a little bit about uh, yourself, uh, where you're located and, and what you're working on. Sure. So um, I'm located here in Arlington, Texas, and I actually started my, um, my career as uh, in business as a certified public accountant. And I worked in that field and taught at the university um, with the accounting information systems. And I transitioned after that into owning my own business. And that's where I really learned a, a lot. Um, and, and then finally, I ended up in a bank, a US a major bank data and analytics um, division. And um, today I'm currently working as an independent IT contractor. And um, I'm also uh, working as an author for O'Reilly Media where I'm producing with them a snowflake book. Wow. Okay. So you're, you're pretty busy then. Uh, didn't realize you were working on a book too. That's going to be great. Uh, have uh, one of our uh, superheroes actually working on a snowflake book. So uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, along your career path, how you ended up developing this passion for data. So I really developed a passion for data uh, early on in my bachelor's degree when I was earning an accounting degree. And that's really when um, I learned firsthand how data could be used in accounting to tell the story um, of an organization. So I, I really um, felt passionate about that. And later on, I, I learned um, another really good experience and became even more passionate about data when it was data about my own business. So I ran my own business for 15 years. And during that time, you know, I did a lot of different things and I sold a lot of different products. And throughout the years, I gathered a lot of data, you know, data about my customers, about my competitors, you know, the transactions. And I ultimately ended up realizing that the data itself, you know, was probably more valuable than, you know, the inventory that I was holding and selling. So I made a decision over time to transition into the IT field where I could use data or use my, you know, love of data um, to really do something. And so that's where I made that transition, did, um, you know, a little bit of IT work with some other technologies, you know, Salesforce, I did data modeling. And then, you know, once I found out about Snowflake, I really fell in love with Snowflake and, um, you know, the, the data possibilities there. And, um, and that's really, you know, where I'm at today in, in my journey, you know, with, the, with data. Wow. Yeah. So from CPA to data superhero, that's, that's, that's a great path, really. Yeah. Really getting the uh, value, working and getting the value out of the data mm -hmm. so much. And yeah, Snowflake really does make that so much easier for, for all of us. So with all that's going on with you now, what, what does a day in the life of a data superhero look like these days? I spend, um, so once a week I talk with my editor, make sure that I'm, you know, kept on track. Um, I split uh, the rest of my time with, um, you know, writing, researching, you know, talking to other experts, making sure that I, you know, sign up for and watch, you know, all the webinars that you guys put out. Um, and then I also make sure to keep up with the technologies that I also, you know, have experience in like, you know, Salesforce and um, Tableau. But um, there's a, a lot coming out, you know, very fast with Snowflake. So I always try to make sure that um, that, you know, that's a top priority for me to, to register and keep up with, with what's going on. 
yeah, it is, it, it is a challenge on a daily basis to, to keep up with, you know, technology and, you know, Snowflake alone, but everything else that it's just changing so, so fast. Um, you have to be a lifelong learner. And I think that's one of the things that you have talked about in uh, many of your sessions. So what motivated you to become involved with the Snowflake community and, and work your way up to being a data superhero? So when, um, you know, when I first started producing um, the YouTube video series, I really wasn't aware of the superhero program. I really just, um, I'd come from um, other communities like the Salesforce community and other technology communities where everyone really just kind of shared their knowledge. And I worked so hard um, to learn uh, and, you know, get, um, get the knowledge I needed to pass the certification exam. And I had all these notes that I had gathered and I thought, you know, I could just share these with the community. So the very first YouTube video um, that I created was Snowflake. I, I didn't, you know, wasn't a YouTube, you know, expert. And I just thought, well, I'll just put these out there, you know, so that other people, if they're on that journey, they could use them. Um, and then once I did that, I kind of learned a little bit more about um, the this uh, Snowflake community. And that's when I found out that there was this data superhero program. And I thought, I wonder if my videos would qualify. And so I submitted them and sure enough, um, I was awarded the points and um, and became a, a you know superhero. Yeah, that that that's great. I mean, and, and that is the essence of community is people wanting to share their knowledge and um, it, it's, it's interesting that that caused you to find the community and find out about the superhero program that you actually weren't looking for it. You just sort of fell into it. So um, what, what does that really mean now that you've, you've been recognized as a superhero? What does, it, what does it mean to you? It means to me, you know, having um, this feeling of, of having a, a sense of accomplishment and pride, you know, and, and wanting to, um, to do things to set the example for others. And so it's, it's really just, um, you know, a, a sense of pride for me, you know, now that I've become a superhero, um, it's something I want to continue. Yeah. yeah. So now, now it gets the, the, the fun question that everybody wants to know, because there are so many things you can do with Snowflake. What's your all time favorite Snowflake feature? I, I have to say it's the dynamic data masking. Um, you know, as, you know, as someone who, you know, it's important, the privacy of the data, um, I, I really think that's my favorite feature. Although I do love the, um, you know, the data marketplace, I think that's going to have maybe the biggest possibilities, you know, to impact organizations. I, I really am passionate about that, about the data marketplace. And then recently, some of the new things that were announced, like, you know, the Snowpar and, you know, the en enhanced object tagging. Um, those things I really want to learn more about as well. Yeah, well, you, you just asked answered my other question of what are you looking forward to trying out? So it sounds like the tagging. So and, and I guess that, that makes sense. You, with your background in, in accounting, you understand the, the importance of privacy and securing the data. And so dynamic data masking, tagging, row access policies, all of that are, are very important for governance. Absolutely, and, yes. Yeah. So uh, what's your, what's your uh, community contribution that you're most proud of? I would have to say I'm most proud of the YouTube serial, series that I created initially, um, the one that helps people on their journey toward Snow Pro certification. You know, I often um, hear back from people and they let me know, you know, that they've watched the, the videos and that it was really helpful. And it's, it's really motivating to me because I get to share in so many people's joy when they pass the certification. Um, you know, they're quick to tell me right away, you know, that they passed. And so I, you know, I'm really proud of, of that contribution, I would say. And, and with that, you know, I know that's a, that's a great series that you've produced. Uh, where, where can people find that video series? Sure. On, on YouTube, it's, um, you can go to YouTube forward slash C forward slash Joyce K Avila. And I have a playlist specifically for um, the Snow Pro certification. And there's 15 videos in that particular playlist. Great, yeah, I know that that's really helped a lot of people uh, in that because some people are visual learners and having those videos is, is way easier for them than pouring through all the documentation, at least after watching your videos, they, they get a good sense of 
what they really understand, what they might need to go do a little more study on before they, they take it. So that's a, a very helpful um, bit of content that you've put out there. So what's your advice um, to aspiring data superheroes? What would you recommend they, they do to, to advance in the community? To um, any aspiring data superhero, I would say, you know, find a way to participate in a community that um, is something that you enjoy or, you know, you feel comfortable with because there's so many different ways to participate. You don't have to create a YouTube video series like I did, although, you know, that would be great. You're, you're welcome to do any um, number of things. And so I would say find something that you really enjoy. And, um, you know, if you're going to create content, you know, don't, don't worry so much about it. Just create something that's going to be helpful for you. And if you do that, you're really going to find, I think that it's going to be helpful for other people. You know, sometimes, you know, go outside your comfort zone. You know, by that, I mean, you know, if Snowflake reaches out to you and they say, hey, we've got this event coming up, would you like to be a speaker? Or, you know, we have this interview series, would you let us interview you? You know, it may be out of your comfort zone, but I would say always say yes. Um, when you're asked to do those things. And so that's really my advice, you know, just say yes and, and just do it. Yeah. That's, that's always great advice. It's the, as they say, the uh, longest journey starts with one step and that's the step is saying yes. In many cases is taking advantage of that opportunity when it presents itself and not being afraid. And, you know, our, our team at Snowflake is great. So for people who haven't had a lot of experience in doing these kinds of things, uh, we've got a lot of help for people to help them out with that, to make, make it easier for them. That's really true. So uh, who do you follow in the data co community for inspiration? And, you know, even out, outside of Snowflake, uh, you know, who, who do you look to? Who do you read? Who do you listen to? I really enjoy, you know, you're one of the people that, you know, I follow. I'm a diehard fan. Um, and I do follow, you know, Randy Pitcher, um, Michael Rainey, um, Felipe Hoffa. So those are, you know, great folks too. Um, I, um, you know, those, that's in the, the Snowflake world. I do follow a couple of people in the Salesforce world um, that are, you know, analytics and architect related. So that would be Ed Sandoval, the senior product manager of Salesforce um, Einstein Analytics, and then Melanie Head. She's a lead solution engineer for Salesforce. So they always have, you know, the, the greatest, latest up-to-date information um, about the Salesforce world as well. So those are the people that I, I follow. Well, that's great. And I think you know, people really appreciate knowing who, who the community leaders are actually following for their inspiration. So what's next for you? I mean, you, you mentioned the book. Mm -hmm. um, what else is going on? So I know that there's the data marketplace challenge that's coming up um, for a close next week. I'm working on that. I'm hoping to have um, an entry for that next week if I, if I can, you know, pull it together. Um, and I'm also working on my next um, YouTube video, which should be out, I'm thinking in about seven to 10 days. And those are the, the big things that I'm working on right now. You know, the, the usual, the, the gotcha question for everybody here is, you know, tell us something about yourself that might surprise the viewers that you haven't, haven't mentioned already. So while I was running my own business, um, I manufactured my own products that, um, that I uh, got licensed from uh, GM, from Ford, from Carroll Shelby. And um, part of that is because our family is a big you know, race um, nut family. We have our own race car that we've had for more than 20 years. I'm part of the pit crew. My husband is the driver. Wow. And, um, yeah, so we go to, to races and um, it's great fun. Um, and that's something, you know, that you probably wouldn't um, know about no. me. Yeah. So uh, which uh, race circuit do you guys work so in? Our, our race circuit is mostly here local um, in Texas and um, Oklahoma. You know, some of the, um, the quarter mile and eighth mile tracks. That's where we go racing. Well, yeah. I figured it might have racing when you mentioned Shelby. And I, right. I loved that movie. That was such a good movie. I found that fascinating. So you guys were producing parts for cars then so for engines we were, we were actually producing if you're familiar with like hot wheels cars it's a 164th scale size we were producing higher end models so like um we produced shelby 164th scale cars that were very highly detailed um we have you know the red ones the the blue ones have different colors 
Um, we produce different kind of cars, you know, the Grand National, um, really, really popular cars. So that's that's what we produced. And it was at a time when there wasn't a lot of 3D modeling. And so a lot of the models had to be done by hand. They would carve them out and send them to us for approval. So it was a, a really interesting time um, to, to be producing like hobby related die cast um, vehicles. Wow. That's, that, that's fascinating. That, and, and I am familiar with Hot Wheels. I, I have a son. So, okay. <laughs> and, and, and I had Hot Wheels and uh, Matchbox cars myself when I was a kid had a whole collection too. So yeah, very familiar with that. And even bought something like that. I got to visit the uh, Mercedes Museum in uh, in Germany two years ago, speaking at a data conference and picked up a, a model there of, of one of the classic Mercedes. So yeah, that, that's great. That's sounds like a, a good business. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, but a lot of fun. Yeah. So uh, what's the best way for our viewers to follow you? So I'm available and would love to connect with people on um, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. All right. That's great. Yeah. And you already told people about your, your YouTube channel. So hopefully people will, uh, who haven't found it yet, will, will go look at it and, and get some of your education that you've got out there. Well, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much all I've got for today. So uh, really great having you, Joyce, and getting to talk to you. I mean, uh, we've exchanged emails and notes and chatted once or twice before, but this has been great to get to know, know more about you and what you're up to. Um, being in the race world, that's, that's fascinating as well. So, and we're not that far apart. I'm down uh, south of you about three hours. Um, so hopefully, hopefully someday we actually get to see each other in, in real life again soon. That would be great. I would love that. All right. Well, that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for joining us in the Snowflake Data Dojo. If you got a kick out of this interview, please like it and share it with your friends. This is Kent Graziano, the Data Warrior, signing off for now. See you on the next episode of Data Superheroes Origins. Music